Hello and welcome to Simo Social number four. So you join me down at Linear Fisheries for our fourth instalment of Simo Social. Slight difference this time around. The first three Simo Socials that we've uh, that we've done, uh, we've been on Brazenose two. I thought we'd have a bit of a change this time. Uh, we're on Brazenose one. It's a lake that I've never fished before. But anyway, yeah, it's been tough going last few last couple of months for me getting out fishing since my last couple of instalments of my last vlogs on Phil's Lake down on the Embryo Syndicate. Had a couple of good sessions down there but yeah it's been like I say it's been tough getting out fishing since then. Had a lot going on, uh, final term of, of school and um, breaking up, been on Stag Do down in Prague, uh, the weekend at Silverstone, did Silverstone as well so weekend fishing's been a bit of a Bit of a no-go. Managed to get out last week down my local park lake with my daughter. Not going to do a video of that that trip. I managed managed a couple of fish, but it's the first time that my daughter had been actually spending the night with me on the lake. So didn't really want to do a video. I just wanted to concentrate on fishing, making sure that she was okay and enjoying herself. And yeah, managed a couple of fish. She she enjoyed it. So maybe next time, maybe on. One of the Simo show socials or one of my Phil's vlogs, I'll be able to take my daughter down with me. It'll be nice. But yeah, anyway, back to back to today, back to the trip. So we have 11 pegs booked from Friday to Monday. We're on the riverside bank of Brazenose. So really show social pegs. We got here nice and early this morning, ready for when the gate was opening. We've had a good, good walk around the pegs we did before doing the draw. Plenty of fish showing, really short actually, which didn't expect, but yeah, re really short, whether it was because nobody fished these pegs last night, knowing full well that they'd have to be off early in the morning, um, no lines in the water down these pegs overnight, maybe that's why the fish were closer in. So, yeah, I came fourth in the draw, which is a pretty good draw to be fair. We've all got our rods out now, I think, it's just after dinner time, just managed to have me some dinner. Just so basic tactics just on a bed of bait so the bait that I'm using is a mixture of hemp corn boilie I've even threw some tiger nuts in there as well um, there's no features in this lake it seems and like I said I've never fished it before but it just seems like a, a very flat clay hard I don't know what, what kind of bottom a little bit of silt here, here or there a uh, bit of gravel every so often but nothing really to fish to so you're kind of using your bait as the feature 
so it seems anyway I mean I could be completely wrong um, there's plenty of people out there that might comment on the video something completely different but that's what it seems like to me at the minute everywhere I've I've gone I mean I've ended up 24 wraps out so just under 100 yards and yeah quite uniform depths as well I can't find any deeper areas no no gullies or anything in front of where I am I've ended up like I say I was a fourth on the draw I've ended up halfway down the riverbank which is smack bang in the middle of the pegs that we've got booked can't really complain about that yeah so featureless that the, the bottom so yeah better bait three three IQD rigs mixture of three different baits to begin with I've got a a wafter tipped with corn, I've got corn poppers and I've got fake corn, so those are my three choices. While I was setting up um, and getting some bait out, I did I did actually put a, a couple of PVA bags closer in where the fish were showing, but they were out for a good couple of hours and there was no interest. Quite a few of the other lads have done exactly the same as well to my right. Um, PVA bags, nothing, nothing yet. But yeah, there's, pl there's plenty of fish showing. I've seen a couple of fish caught already this morning. Bear in mind we've only been here four or five hours there's been a couple of fish caught the conveyor belt so the, the the side of the lake between b1 and b2 there's been one caught there and there's been, been one caught on the opposite bank the same bank that's attached to uh, the smith side of hardwick and smiths as well very overcast still fairly warm i mean the conditions are actually quite good i don't think it's going to be easy it's not going to be like a couple of our b2 socials uh, particularly uh, Simo Social 1 and Simo Social 3, those two. Don't think it's going to be anything like that where, you know, I mean, I landed 24 fish in the first in the first social. And I think I managed 10, potentially 9, no, just under uh, 10. It was about 9 fish, I think, I managed in Simo Social 3. But yeah, I'll see what happens on the bait at the moment, keeping my eyes on the lake, of course, at all times. Um, lad to the left of me, Jack. Lad to the right of me, Woodall. Both of us are fishing at the same distance, 24 wraps. Um, so if one of us doesn't catch, then we're going to have to look at something, something slightly different, I think. But yeah, that's it for now. Uh, update with the fish if possible, but if not, then enjoy the rest of the video. So it's been a long day today, really tough. We had fish in front of us right from the off this morning, all of us across the bank. None of us have managed to land anything though. Um, it's just before midnight now, and three of us, three of us uh, have got a fish on the bank. This one that I've got is pretty big though, it's 43 pounds. Ben, ben a couple of pegs down, he's got what's where big yours? Uh, about 17, 18 up a double um, and Ian just a little bit further down as well he's managed he's managed one too I haven't seen that yet I'll try and get some videos of those in a second just want to get this one done first of all oh. Oh. Yeah, 43 pounds absolutely tore off this is the only rod out of the three that I've got that was on a boilie a little wafter tipped with corn the other two were both on fake corn or corn poppers, which is quite interesting to be fair. A lot of the a lot of the bait that I that I've been spotting out has been made up of boilies. So there you go. First fish out of B1 this is as well. Absolute monster. Not gonna be much difference on this side. <laughs> Yeah. Get some stills of this one, slip this back, and see if I can get a few spawns out as accurately as possible. Ooh. There we go. Well, it's morning. Um, last night was very, very, very busy across this whole bank that I'm fishing on. As you'll have seen in the night, I updated you with that huge 43 pounder that I had. At the same time, we'd got uh, Ben a couple of 
pegs to the right of me who landed a, a low a low 20. Ian a little bit further down to the right as well who managed to to land uh, a low 20 as well so you know it was a really good start to the night and then it just carried on every half an hour an hour we crossed this bank everybody was catching fish Jack ended up with uh, another one after that at about I think it was 29 pound Woodall who's in the peg next to me to the right he actually managed to land two one nice fish with a you know, nice half linear and then a low 30, 31 and a half pound uh, as well. And then Ian has managed to land another two since then as well. Uh, one in one in the night. Again, I think that one was a low 20 and then he's managed to land another one this morning but I don't even think that was, he, he didn't even wait, he didn't take it out of the, didn't take it out and then just unlocked it in the net and let it go. Massive change in in conditions too today. So I woke up this morning, rain hammering into my shelter. Unfortunately, I haven't got a front on it. Went to buy one this weekend and they're sold out. Never mind. So I've had to have a quick change around, turn turn my shelter around this morning, uh, just to get myself out of the wind and the rain. So yesterday it was pushing to my left, and now it's pushing quite heavily to my right. I'm not 100% sure. What direction that wind? What direction the wind is? But anyway, I am fishing as well. Finally, so this morning I had all three rods taken out at really early in the morning. I think it was about three o'clock, half past three. All three of my rods taken out with, by a trailing line. Really, really annoyed by it. To be fair, um, it was right when everybody else around me was was having a few bites. All three rods came. Out it took out. Nothing I could do better I suppose. One of my rods it actually managed to tangle a lot of the line up so I've ended up cutting off 30, 40 yards of line. I struggled this morning to get the rods back on the spot in the dark but I didn't want to I didn't want to wait until it was light. I wanted to get them out there as quick as possible with the amount of fish that had started showing in front of us and the amount of fish that were actually we were actually catching. But yeah, finally managed to actually get them on the spot. Managed to get some spawns out as well. So it's a fresh bit of bait. It's been out for a few hours now. Um, there's plenty of time. This wind's going to do something different on the lake. It's going to change the, habit, the habits of the fish for the day. Yesterday, they, they as soon as we moved into the peg, they were showing in front of us really short. But as soon as we all set up, no surprise at all, they're completely pushed off. By the evening, they were all in the far, far right-hand corner, the, uh, one of the corners of the conveyor belt. No wind on it. There was one peg free as well, so there was nobody fishing down there. But they were crashing like like mad down in that corner, and they were doing that for a long period of time in the evening. And it wasn't until it started to get dark when we could hear them moving further up the lake, closer to where we, to where, to where we're fishing. This is looking good for today. Um, but it is a very wet one, it's raining all day. So, I'm already wet anyway, in my bivvy. <laughs> so I don't mind if I get fish in this weather.
Why don't it? had on this morning uh, that small common that I was talking about that's the so that's the that one and this one the only ones that we've had in the day all the rest came in the night this one it's not your normal raising over one fish absolutely perfect zip linear and 22 and a half pound we've been sitting in Woodall's peg to the next to me watching quite a few fish crash but quite a lot further than him so um, Halfway, halfway across the lake. Then out of the blue, this one. There you go, our Alfie, <laughs> our resident carp dog. Yeah, this one out of the blue. Tore off. Quick show the other side. Winter. Yeah, not your, not your usual brazen nose fish, but I'm not complaining. That's all. Absolutely perfect. Some, uh, some decent stills of this one, I'll slip it back. Quickly get that rod back out. Third, third fish now, again the one that's come out of the blue. We're standing in Woodall's peg who's actually just had uh, a double take. Uh, he's put one back without, without weighing it but he's got a really nice one in the, in the net. I'm just about to sort that one out and my rod's gone. This one's £29.12. Second fish on the wafter tip to a corn. Lovely shape to it. This one was on my left rod, they're, they're all over the spot to be fair. I haven't been really tight with much spumming. Fresh five spawns out after the last, uh, last fish, I'll do exactly the same again. And hopefully you can keep trickling the odd fish in for the rest of the, rest of the session.
It's fish number four for me. Had this about 20 minutes ago. Just tried to sort my rods out. While I was, this one was in the net, I got taken out by that trailing line that I did last night as well. But it didn't only take me out, it took wood all out and it took jack both either side of me. So it's taken nine lines out. Uh, this one weighs in at 31 pound 10. Uh, very good frame to this one, but it is very spawned out as well. Long, you can see there's no good on it. This look very spawned out. Oh, the rain's about to start as well. This came out of the blue as I was just helping Jack land another fish. He's now had five, he's had three this morning. He had them in really quick succession. There's a bit of a mad feeding spell as the rain stopped, sun came out and you could just see an absolute ton of fizzing it's right across the line where me, Jack and Woodall have been fishing and it didn't take long for Jacks to go. There you go, 31 pounds and 10. Okay, I'm gonna have to get this in quickly because it's just started hammering down with rain again and I'm only in a t-shirt. I'm gonna get absolutely soaked. in about 40 minutes so they were fizzing all over me and yeah just came over the spot and yeah pretty much oh, really lively one after the other so this one's 23 pound So we're just coming up to the second evening now. Managed to get all my rods ready for the night. If it's anything like last night, we, we could potentially be in for a busy night. It's been a very busy day today, I have to say. Uh, really tired. I ended up having a, an hour and a half, two hour nap because of how tired I was from last night, which is not something I normally do. Normally up and about making sure I'm watching the water. Yeah, I couldn't help myself earlier. But it's been a busy day as well. Busy night, busy day. I haven't had more, any more since the last update, so I've had four in total. I had that 43. I've had a 21 and a half pound zip linear, a 29 and a 31. Just to the left of me, Jack. Jack's up to five fish, I think it is now in total. Uh, he had three in quick succession earlier, including uh, a really nice, really nice one. I think that one was 20, was that one 29? Uh, but yeah, really, really nice looking fish. Probably the best looking fish of the session, so I thought until, well, I'll, I'll let you know in a second. So yeah, he had three in quick succession, um, which is at the time when I had my last fish as well. So while I was trying to help him with land one of his fish and take some videos for him, my rod ripped off. Um, but throughout the course of the day, Woodall, next to, on my right hand side, he's actually had five today. He had two in the night last night, but he's had, he's had five more today. He hasn't taken photos of a couple of them, he's just slipped them back. Um, but he's, yeah, one of the fish that he had, the last fish that he's had, was yeah. probably taken the best fish of the session so far. 33 and a half pound, nice, nice linear, really nice shape and framed fish. So yeah, he's had, he's had five now. A little bit gutted for Jack's dad, who's on the point, is the furthest to, to my left, is the, the furthest peg that we've got booked to my left anyway. He managed to, he managed to hook into one earlier, but unfortunately the hook pulled. It'd be nice for him to actually land one. It'd be nice for all of us to land, all of us who are on the session to, to land one. Uh, Ian's bite's dried up as well. So he's on four fish, I think, same as me. So he had one this morning or two this morning. Anyway, it's finally stopped raining as well, so things have finally managed to 
dry, dry out. The wind's switched completely back round to the same as what it was yesterday. Uh, so yesterday it was switched, it was pushing to my left. All of today it's been pushing to the right with heavy rain. And now it's swung completely back round and pushing to my left again. Like I said, I'm not sure about what what actual directions they are. I haven't fished, I haven't fished this late before, so I don't actually know which direction the wind pushes. What I'll do tomorrow, we've got sunny, sunny weather tomorrow, very sunny spells anyway, it's warm and there's no rain expected at all. Uh, I'll go through a couple of the things that have helped me catch a few today, which is very similar to what Jack and Jack and Woodall have, have done as well. So yeah, I'll go through that with, with, with you tomorrow. But in the meantime, let's hope that there's, there's another couple of fish on the bank for us to, to do another update with. night wasn't <laughs> anywhere as near as prolific as the first night uh, probably tell from the fact that I haven't actually done an update video that I didn't catch in the night at all Jack didn't either just to the left of me any action that we had was tomorrow so Woodall is fishing just to the right of me um, he managed to yeah 27 and a half pound mirror um, yeah, it was possibly about half past 11 and then maybe 12 o'clock and then at 1 o'clock he had uh, another one, a 25 pound common which actually managed to, to wake up wake up to see and did a little bit of video footage of that one so pop that on there and the only other two fish that came out were from Ian who was two weeks to the point of Woodall he actually managed to land two 30s one of them fairly early on in the night at about I think it was about half past ten potentially, um, and then another one just just less than an hour later. So yeah, he managed another two thirties. So Ian's had six now. Woodall's had nine. Ben's had one. I've had four. Jack's had five. I mean, it's, it's not been prolific, uh, but we're, we're fairly pleased with with the amount of fish that we've caught. It's just a shame that there's a few others that that haven't caught anything yet. Ben actually did lose one as well, um, just gone dark, unfortunately he had a hook pull. So this morning, it's a little bit sunnier, we were ex we, I was expecting it to be quite warm all day. It's still a little bit of cloud around, but it is, it is warmer. I haven't seen any fish at all yet this morning either, which is, which is, which is strange. Winds changed to a, to a westerly, which is pushing to the left, but a little bit more into towards towards the bank that I'm fishing as well. So you never know, it might, it might change change what happens today. We've already contemplated potentially moving on, moving or a couple of us trying, trying zigs just to see if the, the fish are higher up in the water in the warmer weather. <clears throat> but for now I've still got three rods on, three rods on, um, on the baited area. I'll give it time, it's only about nine o'clock, maybe just before nine o'clock now, so there's plenty of time. Yesterday the action didn't start until about 10 o'clock, which is when, when I had my first one in the morning yesterday. Um, and then from 10 o'clock onwards, was, you know, we were consistently catching until about 4 or 5 o'clock across this side of the bank. So we'll see what happens today. I do feel like we're not going to catch as many today as we did yesterday, but you know, we, we could still have a couple. What I'll do now is I'll show you some of the 
bait and the rigs that, are, that we've been using, some slight differences to how we've been fishing recently. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be able to use the video to help you catch a couple of fish. So I'll take this opportunity now to talk about the rigs and the setup that I've been using and, and the bait and talk about why I've been using it as I have. So anybody who's watched any of my videos will know I'm a big fan of the HeliSafe clips. Um, running straight onto lead, claw, lead core. The reason I use that is because the, the lead will drop every single time and I've been fishing a lot of weedy waters over the past couple of years. So it's the safest way for me to fish basically. But uh, on here we know full well that, well we knew full well, presumed should I say, we didn't know, uh, but we presumed that it, there wasn't going to be any weed in here and it was going to be very clear. And when we got here, when we led it around a little bit, all of us, uh, we found exactly the same, around about 13, 14 foot, completely flat bottom, no weed whatsoever. So I thought the best way to fish uh, and fish safely was to use lead clips. So I'm using a hybrid lead clip. Now the good thing about a hybrid lead clip is that the, is that the leads will eject if they need to. Um, we're going straight onto tungsten tubing just to pin that last little section down and because it is so clear the standard IQD rigs that I'm always using. Good thing about these is that they kick away from the lead and they present really well almost guaranteed that you're not going to be tangled on your casts and they're really easy to tie really easy to make so I made I made a good 10 10 to 12 IQD rigs before coming here so that I could just quickly change over after every fish which is exactly what I've been doing um, bait so as I mentioned earlier on or one of the updates earlier in the video there's no real features on the lake so you kind of have to make your, your bait a feature some people may disagree some people might think say that there are features but in the pegs that we found there's absolutely nothing in front of us at all so we found a comfortable spot to spawn to to cast a bait to some 24 wraps out in front with an easy marker in the tree line. Better bait, the base consist, bait consists of a mixture of hemp just to try and keep the fish in, in the area for as long as possible if they do move on to the bait and then a mixture of bigger baits as well so that they can fall quickly down in the water instead of spreading like some of the, some of the hemp will. So your bigger baits, such as I've got boilies in there, I've got some tiger nuts, even your corn will go down a little bit quicker than hemp, I, I presume. Just a mixture of that. Uh, started off with about 20 spawns on uh, on the spot, and then I put three, three baits on it. So one bait, plastic corn. Now that's the only one bait that I haven't actually caught on, but I've stuck with it purely because both Jack to the left of me and Woodall to the right of me have had a couple of fish on the plastic corn. Second, uh, my corn poppers, again, big fan of these. Just like plastic corn really, but instead they're actually bait. They're, they're, they're basically like mini boilies. And they do pop up really nicely off, off the rig when they're in the water, just off the bait, just off the bottom wafting around. I've had two on that so far. And the third one, there's a little match the hatch wafter with the boilies that I'm putting out there, which is CC More Pacific Tuna, uh, tipped with the smallest piece of plastic corn that I could find. That one got me the 43 pounder, the first fish, and then it's had one of the other ones, I can't remember which one it was. So those are the three baits that I've been using. I'm very tempted tonight, um, just because it's the last night and it's been a really quiet one today, just to swap one of them over, potentially the plastic corn. Like I said, I know I haven't caught on them, I haven't caught on them, but Jack and Woodall have caught on on the plastic corn just to try something a little bit different see if I can try and try and tempt tempt any fish around to try and pick up the bait I haven't quite decided what it's going to be yet we will see so that's that I'm going to stick with it for now we've had two of the lads have tried zigs um, we've had the deeper out actually in, in a few of the swims very very small amount of fish in front of a couple of them but to the left down on the point there's been lots and lots of fish in midwater so they've had zigs out but nothing absolutely nothing too it's now i think yeah it's just coming up to four o'clock 
so I'm gonna redo these baits fresh casts fresh bit of bait maybe 10 spawns and see how it goes for the rest of the evening right it's been a long time since the last one in fact it's been nearly 30 hours now it's coming quarter to midnight on the final night and I finally landed my fifth fish and it's the first fish on the fake fake corn. I was only talking earlier in the video about how it was the one that I hadn't caught on but I was gonna keep it out because I know the people around me had caught on on your, on your plastic corn. Have a quick look <clears throat> it's 22 pound 4 lovely little scale pattern on it the other side there we go and just as I slip the net under this one I heard mud all next door's alarm absolutely screaming so he's playing a fish as well so hopefully he can land that one and that'll be his tenth fish still time for some more social four ends. A little bit of an anti-climax last night. Yeah, that fish pretty early on in the night. I thought there was we were in for a good night. The fish were crashing absolutely everywhere all over me, just to the left as well. That being said, um but all did have managed to have that one that I was talking about in the update in the night when I was um, when I showed you my fish his was 38 pounds so another big big fish. And on the positive side Jack's dad finally managed to land himself uh, a fish as well. He had one um, not long after not long after me and me and Woodall had landed those in the night at bang on 30 pounds. We also had Ian who had another one um, and Neil. Neil who was on a blank until last night as well, he managed a 29 pounder. Uh, got woke up at half past five this morning as well and Jack had had one more fish and this was a lovely fish, a lovely 33 pound, 33 pound mirror to finish his session. And then not long ago, just before we were packing up, Woodall had one last fish and that one was £27. I think overall we had 34 fish between us, only he lost a couple. So a decent one to be fair, decent social, possibly could have had a few more fish. But we're not complaining at all, especially with the, the, the size of the fish. I think we had eight 30s and I had that 40. Some nice fishing in it as well. You always expect them to be your completely bland, no scale patterns, nothing fishing here. But uh, I think they've, they've stopped it over the last couple of years, perhaps, or the last few years. With some better looking fish. Um, all of the fish were caught on the same tactics, though. Absolutely everything. We all caught on beds of bait with either plastic corn, match the hatch wafters tipped with some form of colour, um, or in my case, um, some some corn poppers as well we tried solid bags we tried uh, zigs and they weren't having any of it even this morning they were showing just here really short 30 30 yards max i pulled one of my rods in threw a solid bag at it uh, at, the, at the fish at the area where the fish were showing because there were multiple fish showing and yeah it's been in the rod in, in the water for a good couple of hours and i've had nothing but yeah that's it really good social some nice fish caught I ended up with five, top rod was wood all with ten I think, or well, maybe that one crept, crept him up to eleven, I'm not sure, but good stuff. Roll on next year's some, uh, social, hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll get myself back down Norton, different type, well similar kind of venue but some different fish in there, we'll see.